All right, so we have the iPad Mini 2, which is the first iPad with a Retina display, and the new Google Nexus 9 over here. And we're just going to run the two side by side and see what happens. The HTC Nexus 9 is the first tablet running Android 5.0, and part of that is the new 60 frames per second animation through the entire system. And you can see this is one of the first tablets that has really kept up with an iPad as far as uh, animation rotation, which is kind of a silly thing to focus on, uh, but it's it's one of those things that you notice as you're kind of turning them side by side when, when you use them together a lot, um, which is kind of cool. But we're going to load a couple of applications here side by side. We're going to start with Gmail, uh, and you can see that really... Uh, you know, especially when it comes to Google's applications, they are just highly optimized in Android 5.0. They load very fast, they get the data up very quickly, and uh, it, it really is uh, refreshing to see the, the Nexus 9 perform like this, which is good because from a hardware perspective, uh, the uh, Tegra K1 should be outclassing the processor that is in the iPad Mini 2. And you see the same thing here with another uh, Google-made app. Uh, Google Plus loads significantly faster on the Nexus 9, gets you your images and your text a whole lot faster. Uh, and we're going to take a quick look here at Netflix, kind of a neutral application, and uh, we'll uh, go ahead and load them both here at the same time. And you can see, uh, you know, very, very similar load times here. Uh, the difference that you're seeing here is just, you know, the iPad version checking the user uh, and the Nexus 9 version uh, remembering from the last time that the application was open that uh, another user had been chosen. Uh, but that application had actually already been cleared out, so that was an interesting system remember uh, that shouldn't have been there. And we'll see that happening again here uh, with this, where, you know, th this game actually hasn't been on since the tablet has been rebooted. Uh, and and yet it is uh, it was already preloaded there uh, in the last state that it was in on the Nexus 9. We had to kind of take it away to to make that close. Uh, but we're going to take a look here at Chrome. Uh, as you know, Chrome for iOS is a little on the funny side because uh, it's actually built on top of Safari. It's not actually its own standalone Chrome app, and you really see that in the comparison between the two here. Uh, you know, loading things happens at just about the same speed, but when you go to move around, the iPad version of Chrome really kind of stutters and stammers, doesn't move nearly as smoothly as the Nexus 9 version of this application, and that has uh, got a lot to do with the enhancements that have been made in Android 5.0. So this is really good stuff to see, uh, and, and we'll do a direct comparison with Safari in another video. Uh, but you can see as we go to, to load sites, there's not a huge difference in load times, uh, which is which is good between these two devices. They're connected to the same network, and uh, they're you know not having to do a whole lot to load those particular pages. But uh, we will go ahead and load YouTube here, and you'll see it almost looked like the iPad version was going to load first because the animation came up, but the content uh, loaded first on the Nexus 9. Which is cool. Thanks for watching.